Well, what? It is not capturing my game. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> Alrighty, welcome everyone, all two of you, <laughs> and Megan, uh, appreciate you guys coming to see more, uh, more near, oh, Michael's here too, that's right, it doesn't show me, oh, that's the problem with making you guys mods, I don't get to see when you're actually watching, but that's fine, welcome to more, Near Replicant. Uh, don't count. No. Fuck you. Um, I'm always watching you if you're not streaming. Yeah. Michael's that guy that uh, peeps on me from uh, outside the, the porch window when I'm sleeping. It's a little creepy. A little weird. Alrighty, you're gonna get right back to it and jump right in with the Macho Man voices. Oh yeah! My throat's a little sore today, so I might not do them as often, but but uh yeah, I got food coming. We're gonna try and make a little more progress today. <laughs> That's Michael looking for scraps, looking for sustenance. Let me turn my headset. It shouldn't affect the volume for you guys, but it does not all at all. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. I can't thank you enough for all your help. Uh, sure, but listen, we need to talk to you about the canal. All right! That's why you came here in the first place, huh? Well, now that my love life is rolling in clover again, I'd be more than happy to get going on the canal work. Okay, well that was easy. Heavens, that was exhausting. Tell me about it. It's a bit anyway, loud. Let's go give Popola an update. I don't know how it's any louder. I have not touched the sound from yesterday. It is entirely the same. I can adjust it, but maybe that's something on your end? Because I haven't touched anything. Maybe, yeah. I haven't... I could... It, what, what do you think, Michael? Is it, is it too loud? The couple with the red bags were a strange pair indeed. It boggles the mind to think their relationship can persist despite such intense squabbling. Well, they looked pretty happy in the end, at least. Maybe the secret to uh, living a happy life is sharing your feelings. Does that sound even better when sort for me? Of mean and weird. If you adopt such a strategy, I may leave for groceries one day and never return. Okay, cool. Because I just twisted the mouthpiece so it's closer to my face. I need a better, like, speaking setup. Because, uh, this headset is pretty nice, but... It's not the, uh, ideal situation. Have. 
what's she gonna say? Where is she gonna send us now that we've got the canal guy back? They did pick up a lot more. And I had that standalone mic that was like, like, whoa, you're so far away. And I like configured it as best I could. And no matter what, what I- What is the purpose of this place? Beats me. Maybe it's Popola's hobby corner. It's that lizard thing we fought in the area. Who would make a figure of that anyway? And what is it doing here? Huh, this is like a trophy room for the bosses, I guess? This is from the junk heap. For a decoration, it's certainly in poor taste. What's that? It resembles the shade we saw in the Lost Shrine. It's a sculpted leaf. Um, right? This is the first sane thing I have seen in this room. Yeah, it's literally a trophy room. That's pretty neat. Goodness, it sounds like the canal repairman had quite the problem on his hands. I'm glad everything turned out all right. Thank you so much for your help. Excuse me. Don't mention it. I'm looking forward to seeing how the canal turns out. If you need anything else from us, just say the word. Hey, wait! Huh? I didn't mean it literally, Popo. I don't want to do anything else for you. I almost forgot. Yona is looking for you. Huh? She said she needed something from you. Time to go play Big Brother for a bit, huh? I guess so. Thanks, Popola. Alrighty. We're gonna see what Yona wants. Oh, excuse me. I will stop yawning. How's everyone doing today? How's, uh, it's Friday, guys. That's, you know good day or something. I heard it was, uh, I heard from my roommate it was particularly bad with the, um, uh, the, what is it, the delivery orders like there was a lot of heavy stuff that went out today so that is the doorbell my food has arrived so I'll be back momentarily
Hello, I'm back. I have my food, which I'm going to be trying eating very discreetly. Hopefully there's a lot of cutscenes that I can eat, but if not, <laughs> a few hours later, shut up! <laughs> Make fun of me. Wait, no, that's your job to exclusively make fun of me. Uh, for lunch today, we have hot wings. Boneless hot wings, so I'm not gonna make a mess. said you needed something? Yeah. A favor, actually. What is it? Um... I can't help if you don't tell me, sis. Uh-oh. Okay, I'm gonna say. Ready? I did. That's how I eat hot wings. Just all at once. I'm ready, Yona. I need you to help my friend. Your friend? Yep. I have a friend. And we've been writing each other letters. Seriously? A pen pal? How delightful. So who is this friend? He's kind of... He? It's a guy? Yes, and he's sick and in a whole lot of trouble. And I know that you and Vicey are the only ones who can help him. Oh my god, I forgot she calls him Vicey. Imagine being sick for 1400 years. Like, day in, day out, you are miserable. What's it like, Megan? I see. Tell me about this guy. He lives in this really big house down south, and he's super nice, and he's my friend. So you have to help him, please. Yona, listen. Please. Great. Now what do I do? can't say no to Yona. What if we don't cure the Black Scrawl and she dies and like her friend is like still in trouble and we didn't give a sick girl a wish. You fell down the stairs? What ha- why? <clears throat> why did you fall down the stairs? Like how could you be so clumsy? I'll see what I can do. Yay! Thank you! You have vertigo? Great. Yona's got a boyfriend. Yona's got a boyfriend? That's your concern. You're not concerned how she got a boyfriend? Is something amiss, lad? Your voice is trembling. No, it isn't. Shut up!
Yeah, for real. How did she meet someone? Welcome. Any weapons today? No weapons today. Are you ever going to get any more fucking weapons? Thanks for your time. Just, <laughs> it's, uh, oh my god, I missed that. <laughs> He'd been writing letters to the old lady in the lighthouse. Oh god. How can these creatures let us dispatch them without complaint? And what would make them appear in this area in the first place? It is hardly what one would call especially fertile ground. Anybody, is there anybody else? Oh, there's a spider up here. Holy... Oh, I got the earning money tutorial. We have been waiting for you, sirs. Please, right this way. How does this man see... Okay. So he sees us approaching with the book, okay. But he sees Kaine approaching and legitimately looks at her and says, sirs. I don't know. Kinda, are you all right? <laughs> yeah, this is really creepy. Perfect time for me to eat some more. Cause he's walking slow as hell. Waiting's a bitch. Just let me know if any shades show up, okay? Sure is something, huh? She must have nerves of pure steel. So I muted my mic because I was like, I'm gonna eat a little bit, there's gonna be a cutscene, and there wasn't. And then Kaine goes and lays down like that, like 
Woman, please. You're not helping this whole hussy thing. That was, that was an interesting um, theory, Megan, but therein lies a problem with your theory. The castle from the dream world in the dining room, there was carpet that was um, stained red. This is wood. There is no carpet. So it can't be. Um, and the chairs don't have spikes on them yet, maybe, so it could be, but right now it's not. I feel like I'm not supposed to look around, but I'm gonna. thing, Michael. It's eerily modern. You know? Everything's been like this like I do not like this one bit. What's the matter, Vice? Scared? Everything's been like this fantasy setting, right? And all of a sudden then we have like a kitchen with a sink with faucets and a butler and Whoever this French asshole is in the portrait. Perhaps we should head back, yes? Hmm. Vice does not want to go in this room. That's concerning. Why does Vice not want to go in this room? What is a book that's been alive since time immemorial? could unmake reality with a whisper of a few words. A man who doesn't fear shades, kine, or anything. What is he afraid of? That's a little spooky. Wait, what? What am I waiting on? Megan, oh my god! <laughs> Kine. Where'd Kine go? I knew this was a terrible idea. Haunted manners and the like. But why does no one ever listen to me? It's 
você, velho. God, okay. So, Vice was floating along the screen and it scared the shit at me because it scared, scared the shit out of me because I thought like something was flying at me. <laughs> maybe he is afraid of ghosts. Because it's. Maybe that's something he can't like affect, you know? Can I can I leave? It's locked. I can't even leave. <sighs> this is weird. Why can't I, like, run? Get me out of here. Oh, what? 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 Did anyone hear that? Did anyone see that? Oh my god. Someone's screaming for help. Okay, so that was a really... It's still happening, and it's scaring the shit out of me. The house is, like, settling really loud in my ears. Like, oh, fuck. Holy shit, it has! Okay. These these are people. These are these are real people. Uh, it looks like it's in pain. It's kind of scary. Uh, yes. Uh, come now. Brave faces. Uh, onward and upward, eh? Uh, yes. Okay, that's actually a tutorial. I think I need to read hidden items. Oh, never mind. <sighs> oh God, I'm I'm already stressed out just looking at this room. Because, because they have an item by the, by the mirror, right? And it's by the mirror. So, it's going to go to like a cutscene view, and it's going to be something that goes boo, and I'm going to go ah, and, it, I'm, and if it doesn't, well, there's not a win-win situation here. Either it's going to try and scare me, or it's not going to, which is going to be even more frightening, because... That means they're holding off, like, whatever horror it is that is awaiting me. 
As, our, as I said, it's a scarier one. <laughs> at the other end. <sighs> I'm really uncomfortable. <laughs> oh! What foul hole did they crawl from? The only thing that is colored in here is me and the blood and the pictures and, and Vice, but he's almost the same color palette as the wall. Look at him. So you know what those dots mean on the map? That means there's someone there. So, someone... Fuck! Fuck you! Fuck! Oh! Oh! Oh, God! <laughs> no! <laughs> Why do you gotta make it a hallway like that? Music stopped. figured that out from my footsteps it's not hard once you know how then I suppose I should tell you about my friend vice I I only heard one set of footsteps grimoire vice does not strut about like a common land mammal glad your confidence is back vice but enough of this introductory chatter. Let us hear your tale. 
My name is Emil. I'm the master of this manor. <laughs> Excuse me? Okay. Okay, Emil. So you're the one who sent the letters? Letters? What are you talking about? Why is your name Emil? I've met Emil. You're not Emil. Of course you don't know. Such a thing would be far too simple. No! Stay back! Huh? I'm sorry. It's my eyes. Anything I look at gets turned to stone. That's why I live with this blindfold. What a remarkable skill. I've never heard of such a thing. Anyway, I suppose my butler might know more about the letters you received. This key here can unlock any door in the manor. So if you'd like my assistance... No, please, don't trouble yourself. We can get around on our own. Oh, right. Sure. Well, here's the key then. The butler's quarters are at the far end of the manor. Let me at least give you a map. It's a big place, and I don't want you to get lost. Okay, Emil. Vice, what should we do about Kaine? Leave her. That woman is capable enough on her own. Jeez, remind me to never get on your bad side. <sighs> okay. the butler what's that a butler or at least a remarkable likeness of one I knew this was a trap curse my brilliant intuition butler is causing problems What the fuck are these voices? It's maybe. Shades. the light key. Well, they can't go near him, I'll just turn him to stone. <sighs> maybe they've, maybe the shades and the spiders have figured that out. This room is dark as fuck. Oh my god.
Whoa. Is that another one? Hmm. Oh! Christ. It moves. What's going on here? Sir? What is this? Oh, this is my butler. He helps me out around the manor. He's a good man at heart, but a bit inflexible. Almost like a statue. Yes, and I do apologize for that, Master Emil. <laughs> I doubt he's even human. We're here because my sister received some letters from this manor. Mm, yes, I wrote those letters. Please forgive my impertinence. As you may know, Master Emil, deeply pained by his eyes, has shut himself away from the world. <clears throat> He suffers greatly behind that blindfold, and I feel it is my duty to help however I can. Did I hear what? The noise he made? Give me a moment, I'm gonna go put the rest of my wings away, I don't think I'm gonna be able to eat all of them. Not when I'm literally fucking... Oh, God. Yeah. He tried to trap Yona here. He was going to bring her here. And... Oh, God. Yeah, I'll be back. Just, like, two seconds. Okie dokie, we're back. <laughs> oh, God. I heard tale of the exploits of an emerging hero, and so I sent a letter to you under Master Emil's name. But I received a response from one Miss Yona instead. Uh huh. Wait, so Yona's pen pal is you? It is, sir. My letters merely requested that you come to the manor. I meant no real intent. I believe Yona saw the exchange somewhat differently. Yeah, sounds like she misunderstood the situation. Regardless, I am quite pleased to see you here. Long have I dreamed of the day we might be able to do something about <coughs> Mr. Emil's eyes. I see. Yes, well, I am afraid we, or at least this lad beside me, is neither hero nor physician, so if you'll excuse us... Please, we're so close. The cure for Master Emil's condition is located in this very manner. Then why don't you just go get it? Alas, the location of the cure has become a den for those abominable shades, and I lack the skill to combat them. I beg of you, defeat the shades and restore Master Emil's sight. You know this is an impossible task. Why would you ask it of our guests? Well, no more time to waste, so... It's okay. We'll do it. See here, lad. This is no time to play the hero. People need to look out for each other, Vice. Plus, we have to find Kaine anyway. A thousand thank yous. I owe you a debt that can never be repaid. I'm really sorry for all the trouble. 
My butler cares so much for me, but for him to make such outlandish requests. Oh, are you coming with us now, Emil? What the? F what was that? Do you see that? That weird flash of light? But hey, at least I can petrify your enemies. That's got to be some help, right? I can't let you do this on your own. So I'll be right here if you need me. Maybe my eyes can be useful for once. He's... Yeah, thanks, kid. Petrify him. Petrify him, Emil. Holy sh... Holy shit, he actually does! <laughs> what? Okay. It looks like he can only, like, keep one petrified at a time. Or do one of I don't know. Maybe if there's like a flying one and he's afraid it'll kill him. Because, you know. It's black scroll magic? Maybe. Did it get worse? Did the painting get worse? It absolutely got worse. Excuse me, Emil. Did you just fucking teleport?
is. I don't like it. This is it. We should find the cure somewhere nearby. Bah, I do not like anything about this place. <sighs> oh my god. Megan. This book's kind of like you, Vice. Oh, aren't we clever? As if any mere tome could compare to the wonderment that is Grimoire Vice. Petrification is a fearsome power indeed. <laughs> Pages of this infernal book are sharp as knives. Guess you never learned that trick, huh? There's no end to this. What kind is here? beyond measure what do we do i am an arcane text not some manual of combat you are supposed to deal with such matters you guys run i'll hold it off while you escape who's this kid that's emil he's the one who runs this fuck this book is a real asshole she's not even asleep she's too <laughs> busy vomiting filth disguised as language <laughs> You guys go! This is my fight! I can't ask you to die for me! My, aren't we the bold one? And yet I fear that will be a foolish course of action at this juncture. Besides, we'd never let you do that! Would you all please just shut the hell up? What? I'm just saying, if you bastards want to have a goddamn civilized discussion on the merits of bravery and sacrifice, we can do it later! Is this your way of encouraging us? Have we truly sunk to motivational speeches from a woman in her undergarment? <laughs> I guess so. Okay, that was not Grimoire Noir. <laughs> There's no way that was Grimoire Noir. Vice, this is it. Research report on petrification. Well, well. <laughs> Dark Whirlwind. Oh no. This passage is written in some kind of code. We went through all this trouble to find it. And now... 
Oh, look. Jeeves is back. Please allow me to handle this, Master Emil. I shall put all of my efforts into deconstructing this cipher. No matter how long it takes, I will not fail. Sebastian. Ah, so the servant has a name after all. <clears throat> Emil, listen to me. What is it, Kaine? Your eyes are not a sin. Don't ever be ashamed of them. They're a vital part of you. Do you understand? I promise I'll never give up, Kaine. But you can't give up either. Well, we're off. All right. Hey, so Yona's sick, and she doesn't get out much. Do you think you might be able to send her more letters when you have the time? I would be delighted, sir. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for everything. Take care, Emil. I hope your eyes get better soon. I saw you exchange some words with that Emil lad at the Hopefully, it was nothing inappropriate for a young man of his age. Speak the truth, Hussy! Book? Shut up. Yeah, calm down, Vice. We've got our hands on all the sealed verses now. All that remains is to find this grimoire noir. Then we can finally save Yona. So, good lord, that was the last sealed verse. And, Jesus. That was a meal. Man, they're still suspicious, yeah. I don't know how I feel right now. <laughs> this shot over the town like this. It's making me very uncomfortable. <laughs> 
Yona, you need to lie down. I know. It won't be much longer, I promise. I finally collected all of the sealed verses. Now, I just need to find Grimoire Noir. It sounds dangerous. Will you be okay? <laughs> of course I will. <sighs> Is this gonna make me better? Is my cough going to go away? Definitely. Gonna hate me because of this, are you? What are you talking about? It's just I I don't want you to hate me because of this terrible disease. Yona, I could never hate you. <sighs> I'm gonna go see if Popola has more medicine. Oh. It's getting heavier and heavier. Yona's looking weaker and weaker every day. Yes, but do not lose heart. You are the girl's last remaining hope. Let's go see if Devola has any side quests. <laughs> Any side quests? Hmm, doesn't look like a. saying fuck the plot I'm just saying fuck the plot for now because I want to do side quests I <laughs> I want to well I mean how far I am 49% 49% I'm halfway to being done with all the side quests almost halfway getting worse oh that's not good any chance you could give me some more medicine please the thing is I actually just ran out I hate to ask this but can you get me some vapor moss you'll find it growing near the southern gate vapor moss huh I'll be right back Well, you can't run out of mess and you're supposed to be smart. <laughs> chickens. Meal. 
Whoa, Camille. What is it? What happened? Hurry. Camille. He doesn't seem to be sick. I think it's just fatigue. I can't imagine how hard it must have been to run all this way without sight. Are you all right, Emil? I can see it. Hey, just take it easy, okay? The air, it's vibrating. I can feel it behind my eyes. So much pressure. There's so many of them. Get out. Get out of the village. The shades are coming. What? Huh? Sounds like they're already here. Come on, let's go. What's going on? There are shades here. Oh shit! Megan, I thought you said you're gonna use your powers for good! <laughs> First attachment is functioning properly, however, continue costume will require to. Damn it! Damn it! It's not gonna hold! The shades are attacking! No, I don't like the science text. The hell's going on? No time. Get everyone into the library. And please, make sure Yona's safe. Don't worry. I'll grab him. Just don't get yourself killed, all right? I won't. Now go, Devola. Hurry! We have to stop them before they destroy the village! Dispatch these smaller ones as fast as you can! I'll kill every last one of you! You welts are hardly worthy of our steel! Come on! Bring everything you've got! Pathetic! Even in death they disgust me! Good lord! I won't let any of you pass me! What the fuck? Oh, it's you. I was wondering when I was gonna see you, you big motherfucker. Oh, God. Yeah, okay, alright. Oh, okay. 
I thought I was gonna punch him. I'm just grabbing him. Oh shit! <laughs> okay, that's that's pretty good too. Okay, that's not good. Should have punched them. Regenerating shade. How do we even know if our attacks are working? We'll just have to keep hitting it until we find out. We can climb up from here. Oh, I fell in the water. There we go. Yeah! Oh, he did the back bends like Kaine did. This isn't working. So what do we do? You guys having a good time? Huh? Kaine! Underestimate us at your own peril, fiend. Keep hitting it. At some point it's... Sure. Gotta start working. Is she trying to raise our morale, or is she honestly that insane? 
Either one works for me. Let's go. It's heading toward the library. No, oh, for hell it is. is. Tell me this is one of the scripted sequences where I lose. Oh, come on. You stubborn son of a bitch. Oh. Are you done? Come on! Stay down! Oh no! Shades in the library! Jonah! No, oh, no, 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 no. Oh god, please no. <laughs> Emil, are you okay? I can't keep fighting like this. I have to. There's no other choice. Otherwise, why did I even come here? Get out of here, Emil! No! I won't abandon these people now. You told me once that my eyes had value and that I shouldn't be ashamed of them. You told me that even a life like mine had purpose. So I won't just sit around and let you fight while I stay behind. Emil, just don't die on me. I won't, Kaine. Let's take care of these shit hogs. <laughs> Shut <I like> up! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Still alive. That's his head, maybe. A meal. Is there no way to kill this infernal thing?
Perhaps we could chase it to the basement and seal it there. Those walls are thick rock. I doubt even this beast could break them. Works for me. Great. I love basements. Do it. Knock it down the basement. What? No. What? <laughs> what? That noir. Yoda! Is that the leader of these creatures? time grimoire vice who are you what is this place i am grimoire noir i am you that's dc douglas wagon do you not remember grimoire vice we too serve a higher purpose enough lies stay back why do you try to suppress the memory do you fear hurting someone close to you? Preposterous. Your denial is preposterous. We are mere books created to serve the Shadow Lord. You have no right to forsake him. <laughs> the Shadow Lord? Do you remember our ultimate goal? Our ultimate goal? White and black shall fuse to one and set free shades to the world. Fuse? Us? No, I cannot. I will not. I will never! Your chance encounter with this boy. Your collection of the sealed verses. It was all set in motion by the Shadow Lord himself. No. Lies. The time has come for us to create a new and perfect world. We shall become as one, you and I. Become one. Vice, you dumbass! Cry, May. 
Start making sense, you rotten book, or you're gonna be sorry. Maybe I'll rip your pages out one by one, or maybe I'll put you in the goddamn furnace. How can someone with such a big, smart brain get hypnotized like a little bitch, huh? Oh, Shadow Lord, I love you, Shadow Lord. Come over here and give Vice a big, sloppy kiss, Shadow Lord. Now pull your head out of your goddamn ass and start fucking helping us! <sighs> I am one with the Shadow. Huh? Bitch. <laughs> we grimoires exist to create in this world a new and just paradise. We must unite. The world demands it. Paradise. Yes, and we are so close to realizing it. Please don't go, Vice. Who's there? It's okay. I'll understand. I'll understand if you forget us. But... I promise I won't forget you. I'll remember you. No matter what. I'll keep the memory of Grimoire Vice alive forever. And that's... That's not all I'll do. You hear me? I'll chase you till the end of time. And I'll bring you back to us. So, please, please. Please come back. Damn it, we need to stop him. If we don't do something, that black book will absorb vice. Black. White. Black. White. Yes, now. We shall unite in common purpose. Then the world can finally bear witness to our true power. For the last time, my name is Grimoire Vice, and it is not to be abbreviated. V Vice? Vice? Good to see you, Kaine. Although I don't think anyone has ever accused me of being a little bitch before. <laughs> and you, we meet again. Vice, you okay? I believe I could ask you the same question right now. Impossible. We must unite. We must become as one. I don't like you, and I want nothing to do with you. Besides, I have my companions. You're back. Of course, they're weak, and they whine when I leave. Vice. It's almost too much trouble, but they are my friends. I shall fight by their side, now and forever. Vice, thanks. <clears throat> All right, fucker. All of your magical powers have been taken away. What? Damn you. Our true memories are still there. How dare you ignore them? Perhaps you should have scribbled them in my margins. Hmm? Let us start by dispatching the nearby distractions. I can't use my magic. The fiend has stolen the sealed verses. I'll get them back, Vice. 
I don't know what the deal with Yona is, but she better give her back. Address me by my proper name, fool! Dark Blast. Stay back! I can't run now. Damn, this library isn't gonna hold for long. We must finish this quickly. No! You will understand in time. Yona! Get up! No! My sister! Nick! No matter how things unfold, it all returns to us. All of it. Yona! 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 Are you okay? Yona! Is this blood? The fight's over. And I think we are lost. We? Sorry, guys. I think this is it. For me, too. <laughs> Kaine, no! Oh, quit crying. Look, before I go, we need to take care of this guy. Emil? Y yeah I want you to... I want you to petrify me. You can use me to keep this thing locked away down there. Oh my god. No, I can't. Kaine, stop. He's right. It's suicide. You can't do it. Your powers exist to protect others, right? Kaine. Just do it, Emil. 
But... If you don't, it's gonna break down this fucking door! I... I don't know what to do! Oh my god! <laughs> Why is this my choice? No. I'm not going to answer that question for you. I'll just have to wait and see. No more crying, okay? <laughs> Grow strong. <laughs> Never lose hope. Vice. Spare me the goodbye, hussy. I imagine it will take more than this to kill you. <laughs> I doubt it. This is not okay. Yeah, mine too. too. Yeah, I'm gonna save my progress. Physical attacks are useless, they're manipulative. Multi origin theory. Five years later. Oh my god. May now use two-handed swords and spears. Holy shit!
We still have all these baby weapons, but why would we use them? We have these cool swords! Oh my! It's a gold thing. I want that. God! We are much slower with this, like, great sword, but good lord does the impact of it feel awesome. Holy shit. This was, yeah, this was us in the vision. A you that is not you. Wait! Wait a minute, Megan. A you that is not you. What if that you was the one with Noir? A you that's not you. A you, because that looked like us. And that was a Weiss. But because Weiss and Noir are supposed to be one, according to Noir, Weiss, a you that's not you. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'm giving you uh, 10 minutes to come up with a new theory. <laughs> it's dangerous here. You should get back. Listen to our voice now, though. Oh my god. Goddamn shades are even attacking the village now. And armored ones, no less. This village of yours seems to be changing for the worse. It's all the Shadow Lord's fault. That one day changed everything. Five long years. It's been five years since they took my sister. I spent every waking moment searching for her, but all I found is heartache and despair. This world is winding down. Between the Shades and the Black Scrawl, there won't be anyone left soon. My life now, and my purpose, is hunting Shades. Someday I'll find a clue that will lead me to the Shadow Lord. I believe that. I have to. Popola called for you, yes? Yeah. Lost a good deal of time with that. Yeah. So. Oh God, our house. What does it look like now? Still the same. Oh, cool. We're stealing money from Yona. There's no one right here. Oh, flower seed. I feel confident the child still lives. Of course she does. This... this is very sad. Um... So we're an adult now. I'm gonna go to the main menu. I'm, I'm curious what the uh, the adult outfit is. I quit the game. <laughs> That's not what I meant to hit. <laughs>
Give me just a second. That's my stream lamps, by the way. Hello, everyone. Yeah, foul. Uh, I'll be back up in just a second. I got a little too hasty with my button pressing. I want to see what the what they what they even have for the outfit for adult. It comes back to Yona and Dia. Yeah. Adult. It's also 9S, so... So, we're not going to use the 9S outfit across time and space. This is going to make my next near. Yeah, this is going to make my next near Automata playthrough interesting because I'll have a lot more context to some things. Or maybe I won't. Maybe they'll still be the same. Anyways, let's. Someone text me. Yeah. Welcome. You've got some new weapons in stock after like what, like eight years? Blacksmiths always do well in times like these. Supply and demand, I suppose. Yona is the Shadow Lord. I I hope not. Acts of beheading. say so. By the way, Popola said she had a letter for you or something. I'll name it after Dia. She's still there. at you. I think you've grown even taller. Yeah? That's hard for me to tell anymore. But you haven't changed a bit, Popola. What's your secret? I see your flattery skills are improving as well. No, it's true. You look the same as the day I first met you. It's powerful imagery. <laughs> okay, now you're just embarrassing me. Anyway, here. This is from Emil. 
Hi, Dia. Hey, it's me, Emil. Sorry I've been quiet for so long. Are you and Moise getting along all right? Is he still using big words and making everyone feel dumb? I bet he is. Anyway, I recently stumbled upon some records that might help us in curing Kaine's petrification. Would you mind coming here to take a look? Thanks. I'll be waiting. <laughs> yeah, what if it was, hi, dear. Hey, it's me, Dream. Dream! Dream, 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 dream. Thanks, I'll be waiting. <laughs> well, well. Perhaps the time has come to save Kaine. <sighs> I take it this means you'll be leaving the village. Sorry. I know the shades have been rough lately. It's okay. Go. Just be careful. We sound like a kid? I don't know. We sound pretty deep and, uh, and, uh, kind of gruff. This old man is still here, just walking around. More and more of our sons and daughters go out hunting and never return. Oh, Emil, yeah. What are we supposed to do? Things have been so hard since yes. my husband away. Guess your kids don't want money no more, do they? Another hunter has gone missing. Hey, you haven't seen any thieves around, have you? Bunch of sticky-fingered bastards keep taking my merchandise. No, first I've heard of it. They don't take a lot, but when they strike, it's always food. And in some ways, that's our most precious commodity. Maybe I can help. Well, I'd certainly appreciate it. Do you have a plan? Or are we going to walk up to every person we see and shake them until stolen vegetables fall from their pockets? Okay, Vice, you say that, but look how big we are compared to everyone else. We could do that. Let's try asking around the village. Thieves in the village. Can't believe it. One could call it a sign of the times. Rare is the man who steals out of choice as opposed to need. Just the person I wanted to see. Do you have a moment? What's up? Our water wheel is on its last legs. I'd like to shore it up, but the job is a little beyond my skill set. This is a wise thought on your part. That wheel is a machine of not insignificant age. Better to repair it now than wait until it fails completely.
Sorry about that. I'm back. I suppose we'd all be in trouble if it broke. So what do we need? Replacing the axle and the paddle boards should suffice for now. I believe the strange thing store in facade should have everything we need. All right. We'll head there when we have a minute. Thank you. And while you're gone, I'll track down someone to do the actual repair work. Yeah, this has gotten a lot darker. We've been dealing with a wave of robberies lately. Robberies. Oh keep a close eye on your purse. We've been dealing. Okay, so he's. Uh, that's not another quest. I hear it's two thieves working as a team. I knew it. This is what I was talking about. A robbery? Hmm. Come to think of it, I did catch a glimpse of a pint sized fellow moving suspiciously through the shadows. Maybe he was involved? Judging by what we found, we're dealing with two thieves. Most likely a couple of kids. Remember the pair of brothers that loiter near the water wheel? I fear they may be hiding something from us. Let's go have us a little chat. Okay, we still can't swim. All these years and we still can't swim. Everything in working order. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Vice. I'm good. Your health is diminished. Do be more careful next time. Hmm? How do I get over there? behind the recent robberies you must already know if you're asking like that your tone betrays your guilt confess confess now lest the rage of grimoire vice fall upon you <laughs> okay we did it my brother and me why because dad told us to your own father demanded that you steal this guy sounds like a real piece of work where is he now probably in the tavern that's where he spends all his time. Got it. This couple still up here. One of them is. Why did he have to die? What is this black scrawl? Perhaps we should be going. Sons. Huh? What was it to you, huh? Why you gotta ask me all these questions? You're forcing your own kids to commit crimes? Crimes? No, no, it's, it's not like that. I just, I just told him to go find some food for the family. Now shut your mouth before I, before I shut it for you, bunch of no good meddlers. Uh, our time is wasted on this drunken scoundrel. What a sad excuse for a father. How shall we explain this to the client? We'll tell him the truth. Then we'll figure out what to do with the kids. Hmm, what have we got today? Which job should I give you first? No more with this lighthouse. Why? Oh no, why? Got a job from Seafront if you aren't too busy. It's a guy. Looking for something? Look, just go ask him, alright? I wrote down the client's location on your map, so head over there to get the details. Did you 
you find the culprit? Yeah, but it's complicated. A pair of children driven to steal by an abusive father? Well, I certainly didn't expect this. They shouldn't have stolen from you, but I don't think they're entirely at fault here. Agreed. I'll talk to the other shopkeepers and make sure they understand. Thanks. Oh, and I also think we should get them away from their father. Not sure who could take them. Folks are barely getting by as it is. But let me spread the word and see what we can figure out. Ah, yes, your fee. Well, a shop owner's passed the hat and came up with this. I hope it's enough. Using children as tools of thievery. Unthinkable. I can't believe this happened in our village. Things are more desperate than I knew. If we hope to restore the lives of the villagers, we must cull as many shades as we can. Yeah. Oh, man, I'm in a heap of trouble now. What's the problem? Well, I was distracted while I was cooking and sort of started a fire. Now I have to repair the kitchen and all my equipment. I can't make the repairs without a bunch of parts, but the only place you can find that much scrap is in the junk heap. Yeah, that's bad news, all right. Want me to go for you? You sure? You'll have to bring a whole bunch of robots and take it from them, so it ain't exactly safe. All the more reason to entrust the task to us. And this won't be our first time in the junk heap. Just let us know what you need. Thanks. I really appreciate this. I need one memory alloy, ten titanium alloys, and ten broken motors. You got all that? Wow. That's a lot. But okay, we'll be back in a while. If you hadn't saved the village five years ago, none of us would be here. Thank you. She said her name with a cord. Huh. Alright, well, we're heading out to the junk heap. Go get all this shit for this guy. these weapons. Ooh. So, God, I'm still kind of reeling from all the, like the dark turns that this game has suddenly taken. Because yeah, it was sad, and I didn't expect it to be a very happy game, but this got so dark.
They are a lot sadder. I detect not a whiff of intelligence from within that clump of iron. No mere machine can hope to prevail against our intelligence and skill. New hot take? Alright, here, here we go. What do we got? What do we got, Megan? Cloning. Did I knock something to the floor? Oh no, he's just stuck up there. Cloning, huh? I, you know. That's a pretty hot take, but I don't know, Megan. Original split in two, and that led to just like two halves gotta come together like Weiss and Noir. That is an interesting one. These hot takes are getting a lot hotter, a lot spicier as we go on.
Okay, that begs the question though. Why did that shade version of us then try to kill us? No, why did like uh, the shade of uh, Dia, of the main character, why did he just try to kill us, not, ab not absorb us? There's a very clear difference between how things went with Noir and Weiss and us. a lot. A lot of hot takes. Everyone is sad. The game. Good lord, I have, I don't have any memory of how long it's. Maybe I'll get them in the basement floor? The woman needs saving. Emil wants to talk to us, and I'm out doing side quests. As I do. Our sister is dying. Let me catch a few more fish for you, old man. Game away. <laughs> That's a new one. Okay, I can't. I can't stay here all day and grind this. I might grind that area to get materials off screen. 
It's fine, I'm not gonna grind that forever. That's a little ridiculous. Cause I got like one part that I needed, so we're gonna do I'm gonna do this later, probably. But it's sad and like Oh god, these loading cards keep getting sadder. It's just overwhelmingly hauntingly sad. Like I would say it's like a dog dying sad, but that's a little too accurate considering a dog has died in this game. Our old friend. I'm gonna go look around. See what all has changed in the other villages. Let's go to Weirdo Land first. Ah, the home of that blasted dream. Yeah. Truly a nightmare I hope never to experience again. I hear you. How have you been lately? Me? I've been doing just great. Yeah, I'm sure you have, weirdo. That big tree in the heart of the village. I haven't had any dreams at all lately. Dream, 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 dreams. <sighs> what a place. Bats. Why is there no more bats? What, there's a shop here? What? That's new. What the fuck? People are outside their houses. Why not fill your garden with flowers? I hope you. My weapons may not be the latest. In Make sure you stock up. Come back anytime. Uh, Come back soon. It's very uh, I don't like that they're out of their houses. Yeah, who are all these people? 
Yeah, who are all these nice people? Where's the get out of our village people? The get the hell out of here, you freak. We're all gonna die. It's doomed. Like, where are those people? Those aren't real people. I'm convinced. Those aren't real. Those people are the Shadow Lord confirmed. Maybe they are replicants. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. I guess they know that Kaine got petrified. Okay, so there's like nothing here. I guess we're going to Seafront. Kaine's house? I did, I checked it. the mood Curse these terrible bugs. Okay, yeah. All these people were old when we started the game, too. How are they still old and not, um, you know? Fisherman! I've come to fish! This time I need three sandfish. It's a tricky devil that lives in the oceans of sand. You can catch it over near the wharf. Megan, cheater vision, sandfish. <laughs> How do I catch? What the fuck? What is this?
This is new. Oh. Where did this fucking pirate ship come from? Good lord. Is the old lady still dead up there, buddy? Is that what you're calling me about? Hey, you got a moment? You used to be friends with the lighthouse lady, right? As I remember it, we basically hated each other. Oh, well, you at least talked to her, right? Could I ask you a favor? What is it? The lighthouse is in good shape now, but it's going to wear out eventually. We'd like to have replacement parts ready. You think you could get the parts from the junk heap for me? I'm sure the lighthouse lady would be appreciative, wherever she is. Yeah. All right. Oh, thank you. I think we'll need ten broken lenses and ten broken batteries. And while you're at it, ten mysterious switches would be nice, too. We'll need ten broke. <sighs> yeah, Megan. If you could, how do I catch sandfish? What do, what bait do I need? still here our fishing trips get longer and longer but there's just nothing out there anymore are oh, you taking care of the kid okay that's fair I gotta pick hey up I know you you're that kid who takes any job no matter how weird or demeaning not really how I phrase it but okay I've got a merchant ship that needs some repairs. Think you can round up some materials for me? I need five logs, 20 dented metal boards, and 10 stripped bolts. I'd ask if you're up for it, but I know you are. <laughs> that hardly seems necessary. A trading business, huh? Is something the matter? No, it's just that... Well, I've never left this area. It's got me wondering what it would be like to visit another country. I'd love to take Yona on a trip like that sometime. And someday you shall. I will. I'm sure of it. Excuse me, sir? You mean me? Yes, yes. People have been talking. They say you're a very adept freelance agent. I'm a jeweler by trade, you see. And I'm currently in search of a precious gem known as the Mermaid Tear. Have you ever heard of it? I don't know much about jewelry. Sorry. Well then. Let me tell you, I believe the tear to be located somewhere in this very town. I know I'm close, so very close. This seems like more than just a business transaction for you. You see to the core of me, sir. The mermaid tear is one of my family's. My uncle was the previous possessor. But upon his death some 50 years ago, the jewel vanished without a trace. During the course of my research, I discovered that he once sent the jewel to this very town. Well, if it's that important, I'd be willing to help. A thousand thank yous, good sir. The assistance of a local such as yourself will surely make the search that much more fruitful. Not a problem. Okay. What do I find a mermaid here? The mermaid tear. Never heard of it. The lighthouse lady would have been the one to ask. She knew everything about precious stones. That old woman, is it? Yep. Perhaps a visit to her home is in order. Oh, it's you. I've heard a great many stories about you. Making quite the name for yourself, hmm? Yeah, I don't know about that. Oh, no need to be so modest. After all, I may have a job for someone with your particular 
talents. Oh yeah. I'm listening. I need you to retrieve three crates of particular import from a ship that was wrecked at sea. This cargo has likely washed ashore on all the far-flung corners of the world, so it will be a task of some difficulty. Can I count on your assistance? Sure, no problem. Ah, oh, excellent, excellent. Oh, and whatever you do, you must not unseal the cargo. Well, now I'm curious. Why can't I open it? I was shipping some rather unique products. If you were to see them, it might place me in something of a dilemma. Hey, it's your money. You don't want me to look? Fine. I'm gonna look. <laughs> I'm gonna Google Sandfish real quick on my phone and see what it takes because I don't want to run all the way to the desert and not have the bait I need. I've already spent enough, enough time uh, fishing. stretch so sandfish okay that's how we catch sandfish all right that's Welcome back. I googled the sandfish thing myself. Um, just don't need to worry about that. Because, yeah, as I was saying, I don't want to go all the way to the desert and not have the stuff. That would, that would suck. But it's, it's simple enough. There are two letters here for the lighthouse lady. According to the postmark, they're 50 years old. Didn't that jeweler say the mermaid tear was lost 50 years ago? This may be more than mere coincidence. It may behoove us to sneak a look inside these letters. Well, I suppose it can't hurt. Here's the first letter. I am enclosing the mermaid tear with my next letter. It is the only thing I have found in this world that can hope to compare to your beauty. And here's the second one. My dearest, I fear I cannot send the mermaid tear at this time. I hope you can forgive me for this terrible slight. So the mermaid tear was supposed to go to the lighthouse lady, but never made it. And yet the tear is no longer with its original owner. What can we conclude from this? Well, the second letter was sent from Seafront, which means the postman's father had started writing letters by that time. Which means the jewel must have made its way to this town. Ah, but I smell a rat. To the post office! I smell a rat <laughs> to the post office. So after sandfish, what do I actually no, I'll wait till I get to the desert to start fishing. I'll focus on this quest for now and if I can get multiple like quests done in one run, that'll make this whole fishing thing a lot easier. Alright, rat boy, I'm back! What have you done to the lighthouse lady now? Oh, hello. What can I do you for? I'm looking for a package addressed to the lighthouse lady. Will it be about 50 years old? Uh, you want a package from half a century ago? Your father was the previous postman, right? Did he ever mention something like that to you? 
No, he just told me to keep writing the letters. But we keep all of our unclaimed packages in the storage room, so if she didn't pick it up, it's probably still there. Great. If you don't mind, I'd like to take a look. Fifty-year-old package. Hope the rats haven't eaten it. Wait, is this it? It bears her name, and the postmark is fifty years old. Look, the jewel lies inside. Quickly, what does the letter say? As promised, I am enclosing the mermaid tear. Unfortunately, with this gift comes a piece of sad news. My love, I fear the illness which ravages my body will soon claim it. My dreams of traveling to you are all but lost. I desired so to give you this stone with my own hand. That I cannot is my greatest regret. He gave her his family's heirloom as a final gift. Hold a moment. I see another letter. Looks like a death notice. I see. So the poor fellow had already passed when the package arrived at Seafront. Which means the postman had already begun to lie to her. So what now? Do we give the jewel back to the client or... Maybe the postman has an idea. Oh god, I'm not even on the quest for the old lady and I'm still cat getting feels for the old lady. Did you find it? Yeah, but it's complicated. I see. It was from the woman's lover. I gotta say, I'm not sure what to do here. Well, you're the one who found it. Do whatever you think is best. Hmm, what should we do? What do we do? Oh God, I'm gonna bury the jewel. This poor old lady. Yeah, I'm gonna bury it. It's her keepsake. You should bury it with her. All right. I'll bury it next to the old woman's grave. Thanks. Guess the next step is to visit the client. Did the client tell them the jewel doesn't exist, or we buried it or something? Jesus. I thought we'd. I thought we were done with the old lady, but we weren't. Yes, yes? Did you find my jewel? Sorry, no. Everything was a dead end. Oh, that's too bad. It once belonged to my beloved grandfather, you see. And I had so hoped to find it. Your grandfather? Oh, God. Yes, it seems he was born in this town, so I thought that by visiting his birthplace... Oh, well. So the mermaid tears being gifted to her. That thing must stir up some powerful memories. Alas, it is far too late to bring it to her now. It made its way to her in the next life. I'm sure of it. I certainly hope so. Crap. <laughs> Maybe I should have given it to her. Okay, Megan, 
going to the desert. What what do I have to get after the sandfish? Not have sardines, I'm going back. Come back. Okay, now we have sardines. Oh, what about for the one after that? After the sardine one. Actually, probably better only do two at a time because the fishing upgrade. Beyond that, it'll probably be too hard to actually catch any of the bigger fish if I don't have the upgrades. Find your Yona. Really do. This is not even the right way to get to the desert. Shit. Desert Lichen. Okay. Wow, wanna become famous? Wanna get banned from fucking Twitch?
shit. Okay, these things are very resilient. We're gonna we're gonna run. so I can fish without them shooting at me. in a while, huh? I am amazed to have not yet grown weary of it. Not really, no. Hmm. There's just something about catching a fish that makes you feel alive. Perhaps you are forgetting the... Look, everyone needs a break sometimes. Welcome to the riveting gameplay that is near Replicant. spot I looked up you're supposed to fish here with the lure and I'm not hmm. this hit this the fish Okay, that's a big boy. How many of those did I need? Three sandfish. Why? Why's the fish getting away?
What is going on? Oh, I think there's different rules for sandfish. This is going to take a while. It's two sandfish. to hit it on that first little like fumble. This is not a sandfish. This is something else. And there's our third sandfish. <sighs> hey Megan. A lot more graves here than there were last time we were here. How? Yeah. Let's see how our friends in the uh, facade are doing. Hopefully they're doing all right. Can this poison wear off? Otakushi-san? Sure, I guess. Why? あ、おたざくしたとじえざ。イラ、チオタザクスタインジ。で、イロタタトタテテチレテ。イラ、おたできたインジ。イ、ジェソスカトタテアツテ。ギョッソドキイト。If I can track them down, they're all yours. Pink moon flower seeds. Do I have any of those? I have zero. Okay. Get them out. Alright, strange man. Hi there. Do you carry axles and paddle boards? Oh, great. So, how much do you need? 
Gotcha. I'll be back in a bit. Where do I get logs? I have no idea where I get logs. No, he doesn't. What kind of work? I can do that. Takutsu ga iku. Tsuyou ryuta. Koga ii tatsuariku. Otsu. Lotto kande techiiru. Chitan. Toskita. Soukeshi de. Kuikyo. Issou kutsu. Otezu. Needed one of each. I could just buy a crystal. That's a pretty specialized mask. Not bad. Those are expensive. Apparently you could buy logs back at the starting village. So let's go there and spend some money.
<laughs> Excuse me. Thanks for I how many things she need five logs fifteen logs. Thanks. I think we have four. We poured a lot. Fifteen long. Things. Pink moonflower seed. Do you sell those? No. My husband. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here's your fish. and call me Gladys. I reckon there ain't much left for me to teach you, whippersnapper. Oh, yeah? Works for me. I can't take much more of your insane training anyway. You call that insane? Pah. You younger generations with your big swords and baggy pants and fancy talk, you ain't seen war. You got no idea what hard means. <laughs> Did. That was no fishing move, but the maneuver of a master assassin. I am beginning to fear this man more than any shade. Hey! Brando, I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much for following. This time, I need three royal fish. Time's a wasting, so get to it. Royal fish, all right. <sighs> so, I need to read over this thing again. Oh, gold and flowers. Where did there's no. Earthworms at the Eastern Road Pond. 
have to go there in a minute. I didn't buy enough, actually. I thought I did. But I know how to get these pink flowers, but it's a really, really big pain in the butt. In fact, now that I think about it, I'm probably gonna have to buy more of these things. There's no. I'm just gonna buy 30 you and 30. I'll this will probably be do something I do off screen because this requires full real world days to complete. That's a problem. These flowers are real pain in my butt. I think I have the right fertilizer. And I think I have to go back to Seafront for the fertilizer. Oh, that's frustrating. Please tell me you have the fertilizer. Alone. I know. My husband. You don't have any fertilizer. Do you have fertilizer? I know. Nope. There's nothing. Bounty fertilizer. Up. Sorry. Bounty fertilizer. Let's buy a shit ton of these. 
See you. Now we're good to go. Now we can leave. And not come back here until we get these dang royal fish. Fuck that up. Should have put the fertilizer down first, I guess. Fertilize, bounty. what Animal Crossing is like. You know, if there's any one part of the game I haven't liked so far, it's this part. This is... awful. <laughs>
just thinking to myself now, do I really, do I really need this, all, all these achievements? Do I really need to do 100% of everything? Do I really need this? Right, I do. Okay, let's go collect the other fish. Eastern Road Pond, here we come. Is this the Eastern Road Pond? Do I need a fish with I need a fish with sardines for the royal fish, right? I'm gonna assume I wonder if yes. I've beaten that old fisherman yet. One wonders how talented a fisherman he actually is. You saw that chip on his shoulder. He must be amazing. Have you actually seen him in action? Ah. Uh, no. Well, off to fishing then. Yep. Oh, earthworms. Right. Wasting my sardines. Hey, it's Emil. I know how to fix Kine. That's great, Emil. I'll be right there. <laughs> Two hours later. Oh, man. Some royal fish. What do I need for him again? Three.
Good lord. Nine hundred and fifty seven pounds. Good God. That is our royal fish. What are you doing over here? I'm getting a little worn down by all these back and forth, back and forth side quests. Side quests in uh, Automata. Well, maybe there are. Just maybe they just don't feel this tedious. <laughs> Where did that enormous ship even come? Check it out. I think I'm getting the hang of this. Well, dip my oar and call me Cecil. Looks like the fisher boy has become a fisher man. But do you think you can push me off of my spot? Come on, let's go. <laughs> and I'm just using my left hand. I think we've moved beyond fishing at this point. Okay. I got something special for you this time. Go out there and catch me two blue marlin. Where do I fish for blue marlin? Where How is that from? special? Only if I caught one once myself. Bring me those fish, and I'll call you a master fisherman for true. I'm gonna guess somewhere over here. There's a sardine right next to it. Okay. Wait, okay. I got sharks that way next time. Last blue last time. So maybe I'm give it my all this time. Maybe it's Have you been holding back? No! I always give it my all. Shh. You 
just scaring them away. Oh, look how the tables have turned. Oh, oh my god. Are you serious? Okay, I caught a shark. I didn't want a shark. I wanted a blue marlin. That's another shark. I have you now. One. And two. God damn, that was a big one. These the fish you wanted? Well, I'll be. Never thought I'd see the day. Well done, Master Fisherman. Seems I've but one technique left to teach you. Touch everything I know, but that don't mean you can stop learning. It's a big world out there, with fish the likes of which no man has ever seen. You know, I reckon...
reckon you might just have what it takes to catch the fish. The Hynaria. The Hynaria? No man has ever hooked the Hynaria and lived to tell the tale. If you can do it, then you're a fisherman beyond even my own skill. Okay. How do I catch a Hynaria? What bait do I need? Every fish we catch. Sardines in the desert. Any specific spot in the desert? Iron ore might be in seafront. I'm gonna go back to seafront anyways for the trader man. I might I might either farm a little on stream and just you know equip some stuff to up my drop rate, but I might also I don't know, I might uh might call it after I do a few more side quests because I don't want to progress the main story and not have any side quests done because I'm a crazy person. Maybe, we'll, we'll see. might do is after those flowers are um, that I need to get are locked by uh, oh my god are locked by time I might do a little cheating uh, to like I might tamper with my clock on my computer I really don't want to like play this time game to 
maybe not even get these flowers. Just a high area though. So this is my last lesson. Has that old fisherman actually taught you anything of use so far? Uh, well, the art of perseverance? I'd hardly credit him with that. The lore. I hit up on my T-pad. area. Why is that, Megan? Why was it in grayscale? Fuck! Oh, fuck! <sighs> yeah. Make the house in grayscale. Holy shit, that's a fish. Well, I guess that's it. This fishing certainly is fun. Yeah, I'm grateful for everything the old fisherman taught me. I, I guess, I think that might be a bit of a stretch. I think they're trying to spook us. 
I think Weiss might. <laughs> I think Weiss is, uh, is, uh, he gets more like, oh, what's on this page? Nope, better close. There's something dirty on that page. Probably written by Kaine when I was looking. Hey, hey, Michiko, how you doing? Hey, hey. All right, um, that sounds awesome, actually. That sounds really good. Making me wish I had a better lunch, but you know, thanks for coming to hang out. I appreciate it. How are you doing? You having a good Friday? What? Did the old, did the old man die? Fisherman, didn't you hear? He passed away just this morning. I guess that old war injury finally got the best of him. From what I understand, the guy used to be quite the mercenary. That explains a lot. He supposedly did all kinds of terrible things back in his day. So truth be told, no one in town much cared for him. But he sure seemed to enjoy your company. I think you made his last days some happy ones. I didn't even know the old guy was sick. Perhaps that is why he was in such a hurry to pass down his craft. You know, it's strange, but I feel like he's still here somehow, looking at me. I trust he is in heaven by now, settling down for a round by the pond. I hope you're right, Vice. God damn it. That old bastard. I'm gonna miss him. Hey, you whippersnapper, you got the Hyneria. Now sell it and make you some money. Oh, man. Welcome to Noir. You mean near? <laughs> but yeah. God, I actually was starting to like the old guy. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Why did he have to die? Here's your stuff. Much appreciated. Now I can get back to business. Here's some gold. I'll let you know as soon as I need my floor swept or a toilet cleaned. <laughs> What an asshole. Oh! That was a lot of money.
That's why I didn't snap it. I'm gonna go see what Emil wants. Like, what he's got for me, because... I don't want to end with... I don't want to end the stream with me grinding, you know? That would feel awful. But I'm probably not going to do... I might do one or two more little things to progress the story, but I'm not going to go progress too much, because... I don't want to, like, miss any of these side quests to make them uncompletable. What you got, Sebastian? Welcome, sirs. Master Emil is waiting in his chambers. guys hey Emil it's been a while and uh, you have an age today oh uh, yeah I'm sort of special that way huh fair enough anyway I hear you found a lead on undoing the petrification curse yes take a look at this uh Megan <laughs> Uh oh! <laughs> Plan Snow White. Notice archival storage uh, 8 2 2026. Following the recent incident with number 6, we have decided to establish an archival room. This room will hold records on the methods used to control and or cancel all forms of magic including petrification and bestial transformation as well as allow other projects to move forward specifically this should make it easier to complete a long-term dream 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 a uh, long-term storage following our uh, long-term storage solution for number six as well as proceed with our work on number seven all employees are required to keep the courtyard entrance to this new room secure. Failure to do so is considered grounds for immediate termination. There's a section of this manor called the planning room, and I think... You think this room will let you harness the ability to control all forms of magic, correct? Actually, yeah. Or even if it doesn't, something there might point us in the right direction. So where is this planning room? There's an entrance in the courtyard. It's not far. Good. Let's go find it. If this room truly contains the power to control all magic, I can use it to cure my eyes. If we could heal both Emil and Kaine at once, it would be quite an achievement. Two birds with one, um, stone, as they say. Vice. Wow, Vice. I didn't think you cared. Perhaps this tome is getting a bit sappy in his old age. I don't know my way around this place. Here somewhere. Is this it? We've aged. We've aged a lot in five years. Warning. This facility. can't read the rest. Something about a seal? If someone bothered to attach a warning to this room, I doubt they will appreciate us forcing our way inside. 
Uh. Emil, you okay? What's wrong? Nothing. It's nothing. I'm fine. That is a good question. Maybe it's just dream, 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 dream. Something is amiss with Emil. Take care not to stray too far from him. Right. Whoopsies. Something is amiss, right? Yeah. This section. What? Why is it like? Look at this perspective. This is like the Hades perspective. What? This is insane. Oh, frame rate is kill. Let's uh, let's give this a minute to recover. <laughs> I don't know why it does this, but I'm sure it'll settle in just there. We go.
the frame rate is Oh no. I don't know why this area, I don't know what's going on with this area, but it is, is trying to die on me. Okay, we're back. Come on, let's just let's get through this. Let me hear the theory, Megan. Think so? What's this? Scrap of paper. Notice progress report on number six, December twenty fifth, twenty twenty five. We have completed the initial research into number six and are ready to initiate the startup experiment in the coming days. As this will likely mark a great leap forward in Gestalt, Gestalt research. Uh oh. The National Weapons Research Laboratory has made the completion of the number six project its top priority. Budget for all other projects are to be frozen effective immediately. I recognize that half face we see below us I'm not going to say how it would appear this used to be some manner of magical research facility yeah Snow White why this must have been that's what the first document said too I don't know about that. Maybe. Emil. Oh, I'll be okay. We need to keep going. Snow White seems to be an actual person, and I think I know who it is. Sorry for the trouble. things disappeared. She falling behind oh you actually can't get too far ahead of him
Hello, Vamp. How are you doing? Game's making me feel sad all over the place. That is, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> with all these test these these people sized containers. Emil is falling. people did they experiment on in here? Figured. Oh, fuck, big boy. How? Ow.
meal is falling. Another one. Plan Snow White, meeting agenda 9 12 2026. Today's meeting will address the following topics a solution for long term storage of number 6, a progress report on number 7, disguising the laboratory's above ground facilities and mansion. Those kids look familiar. Those kids look very familiar. Okay. So this was some sort of weapons laboratory. What the hell was going on down here? <sighs> what was I doing here? Yeah. I have doubts as to whether or not Emil will be able to continue. I... I'm fine. Let's just go. Boss room, what do you got for me? What the fuck? This is like a playroom. What the fuck? Another document. Progress report on number 6, 10 11 2025. The donor body Halua has been chosen from among the seven candidate subjects to proceed to the next stage. In the interest of protecting state secrets, all but one of the remaining subjects will be disposed of. The donor body Emil, however, 
will be kept in storage as a fail-safe measure. Okay, Emil. I'm a weapon. What does that even mean? What am I? It appears he's trying to remember something. You're gonna be fine. Am I? Am I really? Your past makes no difference. We'll support you no matter what. At any rate, you would hardly be the first member of our merry band to have issues. Boss fight room. Head. I remember now. I remember everything. to be humans, normal humans, just a bunch of regular human kids like you'd see anywhere. And then we came here. They wanted to turn us into weapons, so they used magic to perform terrible experiments on us. Eventually they succeeded. They managed to create a perfect weapon. The name of that weapon was Number Six. But soon they lost control of Number Six, and the experiment was deemed a failure. They had to create a weapon that could petrify Number Six and seal it away. So they created me. I'm Number Seven. I'm... I'm a weapon. Weapon or no weapon, you're still a meal to us. Thank you. <sighs> All right, Emil. What have you got for me? Are we gonna fight this thing? This is number six. She's my sister. <coughs> this thing is alive. My sister is the greatest weapon ever made, and... Yes, go on. And with her power, I could eradicate my petrification curse. So what's the plan here? First, you have to promise me something. Mm -hmm. If my sister somehow manages to swallow me up, if my original self becomes lost, I'm afraid I may try to hurt all of you. And if that happens... No! Wait! Then I want you to kill me. You have 
to get him out of there now. I'm on it. We're not gonna lose anyone else. All right. Hurry, there's still time to save him. It's immune to physical damage. Magic is the only way to damage this one. Oh shit! Stay your weapons. Such attacks will hurt him even as well. How is magic any different? He is highly resistant to it. Then let's kill that thing with magic and get Emil out of there! Oh god. Faster. Halua. Emil, wake up. Halua, I... It 
It's okay. It's over now. I'll always be watching over you, Emil. Thank you, Halua. Emil! Yeah? Are you all right? control my abilities now yes we're all quite pleased now get out here already just a second I can't I can't see very well Ugh. no don't don't look at me Emil what's wrong stay back Okay. Good God. <laughs> Welcome back, Emil. You've been through a lot. But my... I can't stand to be with you when I look like this. <laughs> what I tell you, we're here for you, no matter what. <laughs> Okay now. If this is how I look now, then so be it. I was terrified at first, but it's not all bad, you know? I have the magic I wanted, and I can use it to bring Kaine back to us. Emil. We should hurry. She's waiting. I sure hope seeing me doesn't petrify her. You know, in fear? I see this transformation has not stolen your terrible sense of humor. Oh, is this gonna lock me out of doing those side quests? Oh no. I may have fucked up. With Kaine, I was reminded about something from my past. Maybe my mind has been confusing her with my sister this whole time. Anyway. My god, it worked. <laughs> oh, the monster. The beast approaches. Oh, I know. Must have. Oh, 
didn't even survive these past five years. I'm not gonna let this happen again. It dies today. I saw it. It's It's not the blade, but the skill of the user. Strike it down. Stay alive. Stay alive. Grandma. Kaine, you gotta live. You gotta come back to us. That's a long time. Any luck with Yona? We are still no closer to finding her. We need a way to locate the Shadow Lord. By the way, this is for you. Is that a lunar tear? It's not as good as your grandmother's, but I tried. No, it's great. Thank you. Kaine waking from her long, petrified sleep. Meals unflagging kindness. Our reunion was a happy one, and we let it wash over us like rain. That is, until Devila and Popola had to go and ruin it all. Are you kidding me? You can't be serious! Please, try to understand. People are tired and scared, and... I'm sorry. I'm sorry you have to bear the brunt of that. This is crap, and you know it! It's okay. We can sleep outside. They're kicking us out of the... <sighs> no one's sleeping outside. You and Kaine saved this village, and now they want to run you out? People are afraid of us, and really... I understand. I mean, look at me. As long as you're still with us, I can deal with it. Right, Kaine? I'm used to sleeping outside. But... We'll see you later. Sorry about this. <sighs> A 
that's frustrating. What is the matter? Kaine always sleeps outside. I never thought about that until just now. Never even occurred to me. Damn it. We should turn in. With the stream for us? I didn't get much sleep that night. For the first time in my life, I hated Devilma. For the first time in my life, I doubted Popola. But those feelings are pointless in the end. They said and did what they did for the sake of the village. To protect it from the horror of the Shades. <laughs> really, how can I blame Devola and Popola? In the end, I'm just as bad. Because I never once stopped to think about Kaine and Emil's situation myself. Death of Red Eye confirmed. Who's Red Eye? Sleep well? Sure. And yet your red eyes tell a different tale. Don't be so hard on yourself, lad. I need to go see Devola and Popola. Very well. So Megan, for what you missed, I guess, because I guess your stream froze. Like, uh, the villagers don't want Kaine and Emil staying in the village. So Devil and Popola had to throw them out. Yeah, I'm sure she would, Chuck. And <laughs> I'm gonna upload the stream for the past three days to uh, to YouTube, and maybe you can catch up on how special a character Kaine is if if you have the time. If not, then I can fill you in later. But Kaine is. Oh, I'm glad she's back. Alright, I'm going to be calling the stream here, uh, I'm going to leave a little disclaimer in the video here, or well the stream here rather, but um, pass out from hotness. Um, I'm, I'm going to leave a little disclaimer here, I'm going to be playing this game off stream. Um, I'm not going to progress any story, I'm not even going to progress the side quests, I'm not going to complete them. But all of uh, this stuff, and this thing, as well as this, and this, and this, are a really big grind. Because uh, I did some googling on the, the pink flower thing, and it takes some time to do. I'm going to be doing that grinding off stream, so there's less of it on stream. Um, the only reason I did the fishing on stream is the fishing is... The fishing was a grind, but it was not like, go kill an enemy like a hundred times. You know, if you get a drop. And that's what these grinds are, so I'm going to be playing, doing that off stream, and I'm going to leave the quests uncomplete, so I can just... I could just complete them and, you know, if there's any funny dialogue or anything, you know. Um, and I'll... We'll get to experience all that together. Um, I may do a little grinding as well to upgrade some of these weapons. 
um, just to make uh, combat a little less, uh, a little less, I mean, just slapping enemies until they die and actually being able to fight them, because it feels like a bunch of my attacks are wet noodles. Um, even, even my big crazy, well, only, only thing that feels good is my hands, but even then, my magic recovery is kind of awful, so maybe I'll see if I can't work to upgrade that. But, um, I'm really liking how this is going. Uh, this game is... What a special game this is. Except for the gardening part and the fishing, what a special game. And I'm really excited to stream Nier Automata once I'm done with this game. But Nier Automata is going to be after Resident Evil 8, our village. So, yeah. I appreciate everyone uh, who's come to hang out and experience this journey with me. We'll be taking a little break again, because uh, I stream Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Um, so I won't be streaming again until Wednesday. So, again, if you see me on near on steam if you have me on your friends list i'm not progressing don't worry um animal crossing yeah fucking the animal crossing experience of fishing and gardening and gathering materials but um i'd like to give uh, i guess a little shout out because i think megan you, you have, have next card you have a stream tomorrow don't you um like at around 11-ish, something like that. Yeah, Megan is... Uh, Megan does a lot of streams as well, and she's, you know, Resident Evil 4 and 4 EST, okay, so she's, she's streaming Resident Evil, her and Shock, who are in the chat, are, uh, are streaming Resident Evil, she streams, uh, uh, she streams, like, tabletop stuff for, uh, TPK. Uh, yeah, shock will be there. I'm shot, shot at him as well. I forgot. I didn't, forgot you were here. Sorry, but yeah, shock point as well. He, he streams as well. They stream a lot together. They stream with TPK. I watched a few of them. I must um, say, I'm rather surprised you didn't bother to learn how to swim these past five years. <laughs> I can swim. My uh, my weapon is just heavy. Whatever you say, lad. But um, they stream. Uh, Tabletop, Resident Evil, all sorts of stuff, and it's really entertaining to watch. And you know, I don't have a very big audience, but you know, for any of you who aren't already following Megan, it's interesting. Or she's 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 fun to watch. As is Shockpoint, as is TPK. So yeah, go give them some some attention. But um, yeah, that is uh, all. Uh, that is all for today. Uh, thank you once again for coming to my stream. And I'll see you all on Wednesday.